Hello, I am Natasha Jain. On behalf of Guru KPU, welcome you. Here I deliver you a lecture on ASP.NET validation. Now, what is validation? Validation means when a user inputs some, some values in our input controls, then checking the values is known as a validation. In ASP.NET, we have a list of controls which is used for user input validation. Validation controls. Validation controls is used to validate user input. Preventing controls from a user for a specific values is called a validation. And it is done by the two ways. First is by using the validation web server controls in our ASP.NET framework. Second was is traditionally by using the Java script which is defined in the Java plus Java script. Now first point is required field validator. It enables you to enter the required data. For example, we can, you can fill Google form where first name is a form field name where you input the values. If you do not input the values, then it can generate the errors. Now second point is the range validator. Range validator enables you to input the any range, that whether it is a maximum or a minimum. For example, uh, you can fill a Google form. Same example, in this form, you can fill your age. It is the minimum age defined by the 5 and maximum age is 25. If you insert below 5, then it is generate the error. That, is the, that error is called the range validator. Next one is compare validator. Compare validator means it enables you to check first value to another value. Let's take an example, same example Google form where you insert your password and second form is, second field form is re-password. Re in re-password, if you enter wrong password which you inserted in the previous password, that it generate the error compare validator. Support point, regular expression validator enables you to check regular expression. For example, in Google form, you enter ID. For ex, uh, ID in the form of biami.natasha at the rate gmail.com. In this format, you can insert at the rate symbol and gmail.com. At the rate symbol specifies you which expression you can use and which field you can use in a, your ID. If you cannot insert at the rate symbol, it generates the error regular expression validate. Next point is custom validator. Enables you to perform a custom validation which we can define, we can arrange ourselves. Next one is validation summary. In this summary, validation errors in a page all combined us. For example, you can fill all the form of Google form and next job, when you submit your form, it generates complete error which is in your Google form. Now, we take an example of range validator and a required field validator. It explains you how to check validation controls in our page. Now, first point is, it's a scriptlet line which defines the page language. It's called C sharp. C sharp is a language which we, which we use in ASP.NET. Second line is a script run at equals to server. When we using inline coding, then we are defined a script run at equals to server. Here, first point is declaring you run at is equals to server means when we submit our page into the server side, then we can define run at equals to server. This tag is closed by slash symbol. Here, the HTML tag denotes hypertext markup language, which defines when, when we're using the page in our server site, it means the internet page, then we are defining the HTML tag. Second point is had run it equals to server. It defines only the heading on a page. Second point is the title. Title. Here I explained you the scriptlet in a Java modular science equals to module dot name. Suppose you are writing for a example Biani's 
then you can write module dot name. It can show Biani in your title tag. Next one is body tag. Body tag explains you whole page target form ID. Here ASP.NET use the form tag which is defined in our uh, server side pages. Form ID. Here every tag includes ID because if we use back backend coding then we are using ID form. Without ID form we cannot access any tag. Form ID form 1 run at equals to server. Same process which we defined in the hat run at equals to server. Then div tag. Div tag is a container tag. Now we have using the ASP control tag. ASP colon text box id equals to underscore txt1. You can use a special name for the any tag control. Run at equals to server. ASP colon slash ASP colon text box. It completes the tag text box. Now we are using the validation control range validator. First thing let I explain you the range R and validator V is in capital format. Otherwise it can generate the error. ID R RNG1 run at equals to server. It's a simple tag. Just explain in there. Error message which can show when the error is generating on your page. Error message. Here I explain you how to use image in an error. Image width equals to 20. Height is equals to 20. SRC means source. Source where the images come in your page. Source is images slash sim dot png. It's a symbol picture which can be stored in an image folder. Then control to validate. It can define the control which can validate. Now we can take ASP colon range validator id equals to rng run at equals to server. Here I explain error message. It is not a range between please insert between 5 to 50 in a range. Control to validate. It, it defines which text box is controlled by this control. In this we can define the text box ID. Here I explained you previously that ID is compulsory in your all tags. Second is maximum value. It defines what, what is the maximum value which we insert in this box and maximum and minimum value same. Now type is equals to integer. Here are the three types integer, alphabetics and numerics. It's a finish in this tags. Now ASP range validator, it's com completed this tag, div tag and form tag and HTML tag completes all tags. The display is here is text box. You insert the value. It, uh, if you do not insert it, the middle of 50 to 5 to 50 value, it generates the error and display. It is not in a range. Please insert between 5 to 50. Thank you. For more details, please visit www.gurukpo.com.